Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got a IBM Selectric here. That's doing something a little intermittent, and uh, I thought it was sticky parts. It kind of is. So here's what you know. It doesn't do the character turn sometimes. So I'm just going to tab to this spot here and hit return, tab, return. But every once in a while, it doesn't return. It will do that right there. Not very often, right there. Just did it. So that's that's pretty common with Selectrics. Um, usually, it's this culprit right down over here. This little uh, latch right here doesn't latch up. So, so I'm looking to see if there's a small bind or if the spring needs to strengthening or if it's not latching up. So let's turn this off and see how this turns. And this little piece is supposed to latch this and turn and turn and turn and oh it's against the margin. Let me move it away from the margin. Okay. So let's turn this again and you'll see this piece fall into place right there. So now it's engaging and it's going to return. This piece is going to latch up and return. But that's not the problem. So I have seen this before. I kind of forget about it. So I'm looking at this. Well, there's a link moving free, sure. But what's not moving free is the rack itself. So here's the margin rack, and that's what kicks it out of when it gets to the end. It kicks it out with this little edge right here. This moves and kicks it out. Well, that should have sprung back to its position right there. So if you look real close, it's not springing back. So I push it in like that. It's kind of pushing back now, but it, it's got a little more to go here. This thing is really hard to see. So there it's in, but it, it didn't spring back all the way. It's just sticky right here. This this side to side movement. There's supposed to be some. That's what moves this latch in and out right here. But it, it's sticking. Where it's sticking is probably over all the way over here on this side. Right here. So this should move in and out. And this piece stuck right there. You see it move out, but didn't move back in. So I'll bet you well, I put a little lacquer right in here. And manipulate that back and forth. Maybe move the uh, pitch like this. Give it a little shot of air. That now it's going to spring. See that? It springs back now. So the whole thing moves back. And that's, that's what was causing the carriage not to latch up. So now I can almost guarantee that this will not do what it was just doing. Because that part is moving freely now. There it goes already. And then we're doing about one and four. It's not going to do it. So these sticky parts can be, you know, all the way over here. You think it's sticky over here, and it usually is. Or it's sticky along the pathway, or this is binding with the rod. But this comes all the way over here to a sticky part all the way over here. That's affecting something that's all the way over there. So, this is just another case in point with Selectrics, how everything has to work and be, be non-sticky and work, or you'll have problems. See, that's moving free, so it was just old oil in there, and I'm actually going to flush that a, 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 more, a couple more times, make sure it's all out of there. I'm going to re-lube. Alright, thanks, typewriter. Good day.